what's going on guys Bobby here and today I have a pretty good video for you guys now before I start off I just want to apologize for not posting in a couple days now I had a lot of stuff I had to deal with that was just unfortunately a little bit more important than creating content for you guys and I am very very sorry that I wasn't able to do stuff but with that being said we have a super super crazy video for you guys today we just played in the Forge League now if you guys don't know what the Forge League is it is a $10,000 online league and all, literally all the good teams around the world are in it. Cream's in it, Clash is in it, Tribe is in it, Nova's in it, Team Liquid is in it. Just anyone who is half, like just every single top team is in this tournament. It's a crazy tournament. And how it works is there's four divisions and there's two, two people qualify from each division, move on to a quarterfinals, move on to the semis and then to the finals. So today what we're gonna show you is the finals against Tribe. Now, Tribe is a super good team. You know, I used to play for Tribe, so it's really ironic that we're facing them all the time in the finals and a lot of the things that we play. But, you know, let's get into the first game. I'm going to talk about comps. I'm going to talk about brawlers. I'm going to talk about specific players. I'm just going to tell you guys basically everything you guys need to know about the games. Now, before I start, the games that I'm only going to be showing are the games that we win. Now, spoiler alert, if you don't want to know who wins the game, who wins the series, do not continue watching or do not continue listening. Just skip to the first game. The winner of it was Team Liquid, which is what I played on. We won 4-3 in the set. You know, we we played really well. We almost pulled a Golden State Warriors, if any of you guys are basketball fans. We were up 3-1 in the series, and then they tied it 3-3. And if they won, they would have been like the LeBron to our Golden State. You know, they would have just destroyed us. Came back from that 3-1 deficit, but we were able to clutch it in that last game. So we're going to show you guys with the, the four winning games. Let's get into that first one and talk about it. So here we go. What they're going to be running is a Jean, a Leon, and a, and a Carl. And what we're going to be running is Carl, Jean, and Nita. Now, pretty similar comps outside of the Nita instead of a, uh, a Leon. Now, second best is one of, if not the best, Jeans in the game. You know, I love facing second best on Jean because I also enjoy playing Jean. And he's just a ton of competition. Like, he's super good. He's super patient. And he's really good with his pulls. So... He's amazing. We have OG on lane now. We're currently beating OG at the time. We also have Ch Jack Chepo, the best Nita in the game on Alec. And he's gonna be able to push Alec back over there. Me and OG are kind of just juking it out over here. Philly in second, both have their uh, both have their supers. You know, me and OG are basically even throughout these first few jump spawns. Jack is gonna be able to take out uh, Alec. And OG is gonna make a good play by shooting and then supering up. I didn't know he had a super, so I was a little bit aggressive. He was able to take me out, but I got him super low, and Philly was able to just go up to him, click that auto-aim button, be able to get that kill. Now up here, you got Jack running around with his uh, with his bear, being able to kill their gem carrier, giving OG two gems, which is not good. You want your gem carrier to hold every single gem so you can be more aggressive as a lane. But with that being said, Philly has his pull, second best has his pull, OG has his super. Now Alec uses his sneak, and this is a really big part of the game, because we were able to see him when he was on the other side of the barrels as we were which means we're able to react. We had like a full second to know where he was and be able to shoot. And that was that's just super important as, you know, just extremely important to be able to kill the Leon. Now, we're currently winning seven to six. OG switched lanes. He went on the right side, Alec on the left side. And, you know, we're kind of just bullying Alec. He can't really hit us. He can't do much. I don't think he's too close to his super. It's seven to, or eight to six at this point. And Jack and Feli are just waiting because second has pull and we don't want to risk anything. So he wants to throw his bear out before he goes for the gems so that he's able to not get pulled. Second saw that, so he's gonna pull me. OG did a really good move spinning in to be able to pick up the gems. I did go down. Now we know Alec does have a sneak and he went super close to me over here. So I was able to identify he was there and be able to kill him. Really good pull there by second best to be able to take out uh, Jack, which stops the countdown. OG is super low, so there's not much that he can do but run away and he's gonna die, but we're able to get him super low. Alec is gonna run back out there. Second best is gonna pick up a gem. Alec is going to tie it up 10 to 10. Now we do have mid possession though. I do have my super. I am the only person with the super outside of Alec. Feli just got his super. Alec went too close to Jack and Jack was able to kill him while he had like 300 health left. Jack is going to roll right onto OG, but Jack is going to be able to get the kill. Uh, Jack's going to hide behind his bear, which is a super good play. And second, a little bit too late, he hit a crazy pull on Feli. If he had like two more seconds, he would have gotten that kill. That's going to be the end of the first gem grab game. This could have put us up 1-0 in the series. And let's hop into the second game. So here we go. The second game, and we're going to be playing Corner Case. Now this map, 
they played it super well. Um, they made a few bad plays, which made them lose, but I feel like they actually outplayed us a little bit here just by their positioning. So basically how this map works is you have there's, sa there's, corner, there's safes in the corners and you have Daryl's basically stand still and do absolutely nothing until the clock hits two minutes, which represents 30 seconds passing by. And that's how long it takes for a Daryl to charge a super if he doesn't hit anyone. Now, Alec was able to get one shot off of Brayden. That's something that Brayden should be avoiding. You shouldn't be able to let Alec hit him. But basically, second gets super, and we know that he's going to get super. So I walk back, I go with Feli, and I help him out on defense. Brayden is also going to go in, but instead of going all in, he's going to back up. Alec went over there to the left lane, and although that, seemed, that seems like a very small mistake to you guys, that actually gives us position. I just got a Twitch follower. I just heard the noise. But, um, but yeah, second best is going to roll onto the safe. He's going to do a decent amount of damage, but Feli's going to do a good job defending. They have one down, they have Alec kind of out of position, so we're telling Brayden to roll in. Now, although Bra Brayden only did 1% and went down, he did a lot of damage to OG, as well as get a super back and waste OG shots. And when a Carl's in the position that I'm in, I'm just destroying OG, I'm destroying the save, I'm destroying second best, I'm able to super in, kill second best and OG. Now, I'm using my shots to kill Alec as well. I'm gonna super, I'm gonna die one, just one teeny weeny shot before killing Alec, but I was, uh, I still went down and we did 43 per, or 53%, sorry there. Now I'm gonna help Feli over here just cause I knew he was gonna die because he got hit and he got bounced up, which causes a little bit of stun delay. Raiden was thinking about going in, but ultimately didn't. We didn't know where the Carl was, but Feli did end up finding him. Now this is gonna turn into a base race. He's, Alec's gonna be able to kill Feli. Second best and Alec are on the safe. Me and Brayden are on the safe, and I think we would have lost if I didn't body block here and be able to kill OG, but we were able to kill him. That's just, that's gonna be it. We are able to kill him, and that, because of that, we are able to do more damage, and that is going to be the end of the second game. So we're up two nothing at this point, and in best of seven series, first one to four, so we have a pretty commanding lead. It's super awesome that we're up, you know, we're really, really motivated. And, you know, next game, Siege, we barely, barely lost, but we did lose. Makes it 2-1 in the series, and then we go on to the next map, which is Brawl Ball. Let's get into that game. So here we go. Here's the Brawl Ball game. Now, let's talk a little bit about the comps. Now, what they usually run, and I know this because I used to play on Tribe, and, you know, there's, it's it's very meta on this comp, is they used to run uh, Spike alongside a, uh, a Jesse and Anita. And we actually took away the Spike. We banned the Spike. And instead of going, instead of just clearly replacing the Spike with a Carl, they instead chose to change it up completely and take out the Jesse as well for a Barley. Now we should have scored over here, Feli made a misplay. If you're within one tile from the goal, you can shoot through somebody. Unfortunately, Feli was just outside of that one tile, so he wasn't able to score. That was kind of a misplay, you know, that kind of... That kind of bothered me a little, but you know, we during a game you have to keep your head up. It's super important. You never, ever, ever blame your teammates. You know, you always want them feeling good. So it's something super important. If you guys want to play competitive, you don't want to be a bad teammate. It's one of the most important things for sure. So right here, it's kind of a tie for control. OG's playing a little bit aggressive, which is very rare for OG. You're normally going to see him basically in the back chipping until he feels confident to go out. He's going to super Jack over here, and I helped a little bit too late, but I am able to kill OG just as he kills Jack. We have a two on two over here with Alec. Alec's gonna be hit and go back. Now this was the turning point of the game. Alec kind of just started walking up to me in a really obvious manner. And I said, guys, I'm gonna be able to kill Alec super easily. So I'm gonna go up to Alec. I was able to get the kill. And instead of being passive and grabbing the ball, I'm gonna push up against second best over here and get him super low. This causes him to use his super. And although Feli tried to score, he couldn't. He was being targeted and he got really low. So he had to back up. Jack's doing really good work, and second best is doing a lot of damage. Uh, we're basically near death, but we had to grab the ball, pass it to Feli. Feli made a great pass over to Jack, and the bear hitting OG is giving Jack healing, and Jack was able to walk that ball in the net. So here we go, 40 seconds left, and basically all we have to do here is not make a major mistake to allow them to score. We don't necessarily have to win, but we have to hold that middle control. Now, this is really crazy. Myself and Feli are going to go down here. It's a three on two, but just... The, it's so unlucky. A ball, I mean, one of the Jesse shots hit OG, then hit a bear that Alec just threw out, and then hit Alec, which caused it to be a three on one for to a two on one. OG played and made an aggressive play, knowing he was gonna die. I think he had two other people behind him, and that basically caused them to lose this game. You know, that, that was the end. Five seconds left. We're not really trying to score, but necessarily, or necessarily, we're just trying to kill them. And that is gonna be the end of the next game. Now it's three to one. And it's pretty crazy. Uh, we're totally locked in. We think we have it won. We go to a bounty game. 
and we lose. We're like, okay, you know, bounty is not our strong point. We don't really practice bounty all that much because it's not in a lot of these leagues and tournaments. And we go to the next game, which is gem grab. We're feeling confident and we lose. So here we go. It's three to three, a best of seven in the finals. Um, it's just crazy. You know, it's absolutely crazy that it's, it's a $10,000 game that we're playing over here. It's it's the end of the tournament, and it's not just the game. It's we used to be old teammates. We're all super close friends, so it's it's about pride as well. You know, even if maybe a little bit more about that money. It's about the pride and being able to say, you know what, like you can't walk all over me. We beat you, and both sides really want to be able to say that. So we're going into this last game here, and let's just load it in. I like a little bit of a sneak there, but we were able to get the victory. Now they're going to be running a Crow, a Brock, and a Carl. Now we did ban Daryl for this game, which is super meta here. And when we banned Daryl, we said, okay, we're going to play this really, really passive, really, really control oriented. And we're just going to control this middle for the entirety of the game. Now, again, Jack is going to stay on Nita. I'm going to stay on the Carl and Feli is going to go Pam to hold control. I think the reason that they lost is because they went Crow. Now, they did explain to me the reasoning for why they went Crow. They think that Crow counters Anita, and they wanted to get that counter because they knew Jack was going to play Anita. But I don't think they were accounting for the Pam or the Carl, and it just, it was pretty easy to be able to take out that Crow for all of us. Because I, I know, I actually don't think that Crow counters Anita, to be honest. They did, they went for it, but it ultimately didn't work out for them. Uh, second almost made a good play here. He didn't think I had my super, so he was going to roll onto me, but I did have my super, so I was able to get a super, uh, a really good kill on him. Feli is going to be targeting that safe. Jack's also going to be on the safe over there. Alex going to be in the middle, and it's super hard as a Carl to be able to hit a crow, so I'm just screaming at Feli. I'm like, Feli, get the crow. I can't do it. So he's going to be able to get the crow. He's just over here chipping the safe. Jack was keeping OG back, but OG's going to start tapping Jack over here with the Brock. I'm going to go towards the middle with second best and second best is doing some pretty good jukes but I'm going to be able to hit him over there. A crow is going to jump on me and there's not much that I can really do about that so I'm going to be able to hit him twice. We're both at about half health but I'm just going to basically move to the other side because I don't want to get poisoned by the crow. I say Feli, take the crow. It's a lot easier for you than, than for me so I'm just going to be hitting the safe over here. So it's 79% to 23%. You know, we have this game. We're very confident about it. I was able to kill the crow. I went over. I was able to kill second best. Crow's going to jump on me. He is going to be able to get the kill, but not before I hit him one time. Jack's going to put his bear right in front of the crow and then push him. So that's going to be a super easy for, uh, kill for Jack on the crow. They have to play super defensive in order for us not to be able to hit the safe. And they're already down 50%. So there's basically nothing they can do anymore. I'm going to be able to kill second best again on a spin where he didn't think I had one. I'm going to be able to take out OG here. And this is basically the end of the game. You know, we know this game is over. I'm going to shoot it once. You know, it's, it's just one tiny shot away. Jack's going to go up. He's going to be able to kill Alec. He, 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 apparently, he can't reach it. I thought Anita would be able to reach that safe. He's just going to be able to get the bear off of OG. And that is going to be it. That's going to be the game. And that is the end of of the finals and the end of a league. So super, super fun games against Tribe. Every other team, we kind of just walked all over. We only lost one game out of, I think it was 18 or something before leading up to the finals. And that was due to us playing a band brawler. So it was a DQ. So we absolutely wiped every other team outside of this team. So it was a super, super good effort by them. They played really well. And yeah, I think we're, we're super even. I can't wait for more matches against Tribe. But with that being said, that's going to be it for today. So that is the end of the $10,000 league hosted by Omelette Arcade. So shout out to them as well. And yeah, that's going to be it for today, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm sorry I haven't been posting, but I'll definitely get back on that daily grind. And that's going to be it for today. I will catch you guys tomorrow. Peace.